Hey team, so uh, it's me, Jess. It's a Thursday afternoon. I've got a little bit of time, so I thought I was gonna thought I'd shoot a quick little video. So um, I want to talk about food relationships, and not like how you're dating food. Although sometimes maybe it feels that way, um, but just how uh, you do food in your life, and the reason I. I'm talking about this is because right now I feel like I'm having a moment of like, oh my goodness, like there are so many like realizations like popping off in my head um, that of course started in Australia when I kind of had time to sit back. Now, I have struggled with food all my life. Um, I went from being active as a little kid in gymnastics to not being so active to being active to being all over the place and so I've gained and I've lost and I've gained and I've lost and I've done the whole thing and so it's never I've never really gotten a handle on food until honestly like maybe in the last year or two um it, because I've tried different things now um the thing that is really hitting me hard right now in this moment in my life is this idea of um, leaving a couple bites on the plate. Now I hear this from a lot of my nutrition clients that it's like, well, we don't want to waste food or, oh my gosh, it's just so good. How do you leave it on your plate? And, um, all, all things aside, like, right, we don't want to waste food. And I think that's like really, uh, really awesome. Um, I don't know in the realizations that I've had in the past couple of weeks, I don't know if my reasoning behind not leaving food on my plate is is that altruistic to be honest I think um I had this moment of realization where I don't want to leave on the, the food on the plate because I don't want to clean it up I mean I don't know if that's just like mom life and not having time or all of a sudden what I have become is like this very like type a I want everything like organized and clean despite what this would prove but I, I really like the idea of like, oh, a clean plate into the dishwasher. And I know that sounds so ridiculous, but once I started uncovering this thing, it was like, wow, I want to finish the food on my plate so that I, so that it's clean because then it's organized because then it fits into this little box of like clean and organized that I just like really live for because when my life is clean and organized, then it's, it's less to think about. So what I'm encouraging you to do, and I want to keep this video short because I always want to keep them short, is to look further into what your food habits are. One of my other big food habits that I know that I've always had is like, oh, and I get this, I love my mom, but like she always rewarded me with like treats, like here's some Girl Scout cookies or here's this. So, you know, if I've done something good for the day or even like, oh, really went to sleep, I'm like, oh, well, I might as well have a piece of chocolate because good job, me, I got him to sleep. You know, like if I, the only thing I don't do is like if I have a really good workout, I'm never like, oh, I should eat a piece of cake. In fact, if I have a really good workout, usually I'm like, I'm not going to eat a piece of cake. But if I do something good, the only child in me that's been rewarded, that's like had this response of being rewarded with food, always thinks like, oh, well, I did good this week. So like I should have piece of birthday cake or like a pint of ice cream. So what I'm encouraging you to do is just to dive deeper. And I'm sure that you, there are more, there are things that can go back to like when you were a little kid or, you know, just, I encourage you to like maybe sit, journal, think about it. And it's not something that necessarily is going to pop into your mind, but if you start kind of creating this dialogue with yourself, like, why am I choosing this? Why am I, why has, why is this always my pattern? Um, then maybe you can start uncovering a little bit more of your food relationship and how you date food. So, um, again, keeping this short, um, yeah, I hope you have a good day. As always, like, let me know if you want to talk about stuff because uh, I'm here for you. So, okay, we'll talk soon then. Bye.